today we are seeing you for the lips, right? Yes. Okay. Have you ever had anything done to the lips in the past? Never. Never. Okay. Well, lips are definitely in and we have a number of different fillers that can be used to augment the normal shape of the lip. Just to accentuate things. We never want to make you look any different than you are, but just to kind of make it a little bit more smooth while being very subtle. So there's uh, a new filler that's out in the US now. It's called Wobella. Some of the interesting things about Wobella that makes it different is that it's very smooth. So um, fillers are made out of hyaluronic acid. It's kind of like sugar water. Mm -hmm. It's the soup that our collagen kind of swims around in. Mm -hmm. So we inject hyaluronic acid to kind of plump up the skin. So we grade these fillers in different ways and it's kind of by their flow and how smooth they are. How much does a filler clump to itself? So in comparison to Juvederm, which we commonly use in the lips, mm -hmm. this product has much lower viscosity. It's very smooth. You can kind of roll it. It doesn't clump to itself. So it creates a really natural looking appearance to the lips. And it's FDA approved for the lips and also around the lips. So when I'm looking at the lips, I like to see three pillows here and two at the bottom. So if you can imagine that they kind of interlock like this, so mm -hmm. the three on the top with the two on the bottom. These should have like a very smooth appearance and kind of flow very well. So you can see when your lip is relaxed, it's, there's a little bit of a space here. So I want to make this a little bit more prominent, a little bit here and here, and then over here. Mm -hmm. Another thing to point out, these are called the perioral lines. Perioral means around the mouth. And I know you're not a smoker, but sometimes we see that more in smokers because they make that kissy face. Mm -hmm. So this part is actually suited to be used also in that area. So we can we can actually help you with those lines as well. Oh great. Both on the top and the bottom. I'm so I'm going directly into those lines and filling it. Would you like to take a look and see? I always like you to see what I'm doing. You see how that line, I kind of filled it in? Mm -hmm. You see that? And there was another one right next to it. So you can compare that to this side, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So with this product, we can actually be extremely high up in the skin without the product actually showing. Hmm. Me here. I wanted to show you what this product looks and feels like, so I'm going to just put a little bit of a droplet here on my hand. So you can see how when I spread it, it just very evenly coats the area. So this is one of the unique properties of Volbella is that it's very smooth and it kind of blends. It doesn't stand on itself like some of the other gel particles. So here we are just about at the halfway point. I've done the right side and not the left. So you can see that there's a little bit of a nice pillow that's developed here and over here. And if you open just a little bit, you can see how this fits nicely into that groove. One other thing that I always tell patients about is when you do filler, the lip, the lines become a lot smoother and you can kind of see that on her right side as compared to the left. So now we'll do her left side. 